Hi everyone, it's Trevor Olinick from GNR Camping World. We are Winnipeg's only RV care dealer and we have Winnipeg's largest and most experienced RV service center. Today for our 50th anniversary uh, sale event, standing by this beautiful 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX 224BH. So this, this unit is a very, very nice family unit, bunks inside, we'll show you that in a minute. Comes in at less than 4,700 pounds, can be towed by a virtually any half ton, large SUV. Uh, you know, the Jayco J Flight SLX family of trailers, once they release that, has just been, has taken off like crazy. Feature packed, budget friendly, and, and just great floor plans. Um, you know, without going over the top with, with blingy blingy. It's, it's got some blingy blingy, don't get me wrong, but it, it's just not over the top. It focuses more on the quality and the layouts and the, the functionality of the trailer. So the first thing I'd like to point out is our power tongue jack here. So, you know, to, to, to get this up and on in the truck, push a button, back the truck under, push a button, get it down, it's that easy. And there's a night light on it too. How many times are you leaving for your campsite and you get to the campsite and it's dark? Well, you got a light to unhook safely. It's all about safety here. Uh, the the eight, two point twenty pound propane tanks. So we will fill those. There will be a brand new battery on here. We always put a new battery on with every trailer. Fill the propane tanks, and there's two tanks. Again, in the in the economy versions of some trailers, there's only one tank. This has two, and we will fill them. Quality. We're gonna harp on this a little bit here. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record, but we are going to harp on this quality. That A frame. This steel right here. First of all, it's really big steel. It's tubular steel it's not a c-channel number two is that it's forged right into the frame of the trailer okay a lot of brands what they're doing is they have a separate a-frame and they tack weld it from underneath I'm not saying that's going to fall apart in two days or whatever but again everything about jaco is just a step above which is why they have the best warranty in the business which we'll also talk about so this is forged right into the uh into the frame of the trailer it's all part of it. it's integrated even the metal you know the siding here is the metal siding heavier metal siding thicker gauge than a lot of other brands out there storage well you know what there's a lot of storage here if you need to store camping gear barbecues chairs your leveling blocks all that kind of stuff it's got more than enough room for that full pass through storage it's also accessible from uh, uh, inside the trailer as well we can lift up the bed and i'll show you that when we get inside Going, uh, continuing on with the amenities, this is a full power awning, so you push a button, this awning comes out. You push a button, the awning goes in. It has the LED light strip on there, and it even has the speakers built right into the awning for convenience. A little cleaner look on the outside of the trailer. Okay, all your windows are dark tinted windows. In the daytime, you can't really see in here. At nighttime, there's shades to pull down. It's also safety glass. So when you are, if something does happen and one of those windows break, it doesn't leave those really sharp shards that are gonna hurt people. This is gonna crumble into a little bitty, little bitty pieces. So it is safety glass. This has become quite popular. This is what's called the Moor Ride Step Above Step. It actually folds up into the trailer. It folds up inside. I'll even show it to you here just so you can see what we're talking about. Look how clean that is underneath. Number two, it's, so it's clean, but it's also going to um, uh, not be uh, sitting there collecting road grime and road dust underneath, right? So it's a nice clean look underneath when the door is closed. It's not going to get all dirty. And when it comes down, how stable is that? Each leg is independently adjustable for uneven ground, but stable. And look at that, I'm not slipping at all. It's very, very slip resistant, very safe for the family, young kids. It's a very good step. It's just, it's incredible. I, I, I love these steps. They've just come such a long way with these ones here. Let's go in and check out a few things inside. And again, we got this big safety grab handle here. People have mobility issues. This is a very good thing. Young kids, they can grab onto it and come on inside. Okay, again, in the economy version of trailers and smaller trailer, we gotta remember there's only a 22 footer. Your total length is around 25 feet, but this is considered a, you know, a relatively small trailer. What you have to remember, a lot of the trailers like this, they have the bed that goes sideways 
you lose the side tables. Now you got to crawl over each other to uh, to get in and out of bed. This is the full walk around bed. Look how easy it is to get in bed and out. Also to make the bed. Okay, to make the bed is very easy. You don't have to struggle to get way in the corner there. So full walk around bed. Very very comfortable. By the way. This is not just a chunk of foam. This is actually a good quality bed, okay? It's got some nice cushion to it. Bedspreads, pillows, everything's all included in this one, by the way, too. And that's, that's it's not a bad bedspread. It's a good quality, thick, heavy-duty bedspread. Shirt closets. Uh, you can hang up shirts, sweaters, pants, whatever you need in here. And there's one on each side. Lots of room in there, okay? You want to bring camping gear, you don't want to have to be living out of a suitcase. So you can actually put it, your clothes in there the night before, the week before, whatever, and, and away you go. A little bit of accent lighting, we do have that. Like I said, it's not blingy, 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 but it does have some good, good, and that's not just for blingy either, right? You can turn off all the other lights and use that as a night light or more of an ambient light, not to blind everybody when they're coming in, right? So it, it does well. You have the reading lights here, which are independently controlled as well, so left right and same thing with outlets right you've got outlets on both sides of the beds you know if you have your chargers or even CPAP machines there's areas to put it plus plug-ins on both sides of the bed for that uh, what else I was gonna lift the bed up wasn't I here we go not only does the bed lift up for storage but you have the gas struts that hold it up I'm not holding it right the gas struts hold it up some brands out there they don't put those why because they want to be cheaper and they'd want to be the type of you know a lot less money well you know what this is a convenience thing it's worth paying a few extra dollars for that plywood right plywood not particle board plywood is stronger more durable uh, stands up to uh, uh, moisture resistance so plywood is way better than osb or chipboard or particle board or whatever the other brands are using Again, there is a reason, and I'm going to keep continuing to talk about this. There's a reason why Jayco offers double the warranty that a lot of other brands offer. Jayco has a full two-year warranty. Uh, that's bumper to hitch. Every nut, bolt, and screw covered by that warranty against manufactured defects. And a three-year structural warranty. Well, who cares? Whatever. Why? Why? Because what's a one-year warranty in Manitoba? Is that three months, four months? That's all we get to use our trailers for, our RVs for in the first year. So that one year is now, you got two full camping seasons out of this. Most other brands, you're gonna get one camping season, that's it. The pull down pleated shades. Okay, remember I said very dark tinted windows. During the day, you probably won't even need to use these. At night, you put some lights on in here. We have a lot of lights. <laughs> They're all LED lights. It's very bright in here. You can put that down for some privacy. A lot of the other brands, again, they put those cheap little rattly little slat blinds on there. This is way more user-friendly, way better uh, uh, coverage as well. As I mentioned, lots of lights. I don't know if you can see that. If you can look around, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13. <laughs> in a 22 foot trailer, there's gotta be 20 lights in here almost. In the bathroom, there's lights, of course, right? So uh, also, in a, in a not so big trailer, it's 22 foot of kind of living space, sleeps two, four, six, eight people. Eight people in a 20 foot, two foot trailer. This does fold down to a bed. Also, I want to show, I'll talk a little bit more about sleeping, but this material here, it's like a vinyl leatherette type product. It's not real leather, I'm not going to lie to you, but you know what, it's, it's, it cleans up kids sitting here, hot dogs, ketchup, mustard. Yeah, you get where I'm going with that, right? Wipe it up, easy, easy, clean, easy to maintain. Uh, sleeping, so this folds down to a bed very easy. This, this is just base goes down, and then this all folds in, the cushions make up to the bed bunks let's talk about that most brands most bunk beds that you look at the capacity is going to be what 200 250 maybe 300 pounds these are rated at 600 pounds each that's not both of them together that's each 600 pound each bunk capacity again how can jayco do that when some other brands and it can only do 200 250 300 that's because they use better materials. Remember I said plywood, not particle board. Heavier duty construction equals better warranty, better built, better quality, better resale value, and it's just gonna last longer. That's what Jayco's all about. 
Okay, storage. Let's talk a little bit about storage. Cupboards, 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 lots of cupboards. Back to quality. Sorry, I'm gonna keep going back and forth between the amenities and the quality. That's real wood. That's not particle board wrapped in paper to look like wood. Again, back to the warranty. That's why they can do that. These drawers, full extension roller glides, not the lift and pull just hanging there on pieces of plastic. Plywood boxes, stronger, last longer. Again, you wanna be able to get to the back of your cabinets there, and this is the way you can do that in the drawers. Both of them. I don't know if you can see this in the camera here. This is mortise and tenon joining. You ask any carpenter what's the bet these are built by the amish in the factory this is exactly what i'm talking about here real not particle board the floor what's the floor made of well you can't see it this is a vinyl sheet flooring which is fully glued down by the way so it's very crack resistant we haven't seen any cracking in a long long time on jaco's in the cold the plywood floor this is plywood it's 5 8 tongue and groove plywood most other brands are using a sheet of osb or chipboard or or whatever the other stuff is this is plywood 5 8 tongue groove glued down screwed down and everything a lot of what you don't see is what makes jaco a top quality product the roof Okay, some brands out there say you know walk on roof and some brands say don't walk on our roofs Full walk-on roof, of course, tested to 4,500 pounds with the Magnum Truss roof system. This is 3 8 plywood glued and screwed. Most other brands, they're using that chipboard or that OSB or that Aspenite or whatever you want to call it, and they staple it because that's quick to do in the factory. Well, what's the difference? What's the difference? Well, plywood's, again, stronger, and they glue it and screw it. Where the other brands staple it, those staples wiggle loose. Remember, Manitoba Roads? bounce 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 and that stuff's going to start working loose and things are going to start falling apart and then those staples start popping through the rubber membrane they all have a rubber roof membrane this has a rubber roof membrane so but it's the foundation that makes it better the what the roof is made of three eight plywood roof glued and screwed under uh, over top of that magnum truss roof system tested to 4500 pounds okay quality quality warranty warranty resale value resale value more storage even just little things here. This has, by the way, TV. This one's already wired in with the TV, all hooked up, ready to go, wired right into this system right here. This system is your entertainment system, AM, FM, stereo, CD, DVD, USB input, uh, HDMI input, Bluetooth compatible, all wired in, speakers on the outside, speakers on the inside, and it is uh, just a really nice little system, all built in, looks good, looks, and it sounds good. A little bit of storage over here, maybe for your DVDs and whatever else you have. Um, there's storage over the booth. There's storage, you know, just there's so much storage in this unit for such a, it's not a huge unit. Storage above the bed. There's even storage under the booth dinette. Now that's not abnormal, but look, they give you the doors. You can lift up here as well. Oh, what's this? Oh, plywood. Oh yeah plywood not particle board you can lift that up to access larger items but you, they do give you this for ease of access to that storage a lot of brands what they do that costs money this all costs money to do this yes jaco's are a little bit more money but you truly get what you pay for not just in quality but amenities and, and ease of operation even the mattresses go put go into some other brands and see the thickness and the and the plushness of the mattresses half as thick you're doing this and you're already onto the wood which is typically not going to be plywood which is typically why they're not three or they're only 300 pound capacity 600 on this one usb ports there's a bunch of them around the uh, around the trailer everyone's got their usb giz gadgets and gizmos kids especially right so they've got usb ports right in their bunk area what else we got? Oh, fridge. So a lot of brands, what they're doing is they're doing the single door little fridge with the little freezer built in. This is the separate two door fridge, gas electric. It's the Norcold, the best name in the brand, in the business. And it's auto switching from gas to electric. If something happens and you lose power and you're set to electricity, it will automatically go to propane. As long as you got propane on power and all that. The stainless looks really nice. gives it a nice 
residential feel. And that's exactly what Jayco goes for here. They match that on the microwave as well. Of course, fridge, stove, furnace, microwave, air conditioning, this is all standard. But let's talk about that air conditioning. The air conditioning in most units of this size and in this price range, the unit just blows out here. So now you got people, they're sitting here freezing at the dining area, they're boiling hot at the, uh, at the either end of the trailer or in the bathroom. Look at this, ducts, Heat, uh, air conditioning ducts, they're adjustable. Even some of them have ducts, but it's just still wide open, so it still could be free. You can close this down, you can direct it whichever way you want. And the ducting goes into the bathroom as well. Okay, so you gotta remember the ducting is right into the bathroom and you're gonna have a nice cool bathroom experience and same thing with the heat. The heat is ducted in here too. These are things a lot of people don't really notice when they're buying an RV is where are these heat ducts and how does the manufacturer cheap out on some of this stuff? Well, Jayco doesn't because they put ducts into the bathroom. Holy, look at the size of this shower. 22 foot trailer people, you gotta remember this is only 22 foot trailer huge shower you know what if you have a family member or somebody um, maybe grandma grandpa's coming with you and mobility issues look at how easy the ease of access into this unit okay i'm not a super tall person but you know what if you're six foot whatever you got lots of room in here tons of room and it's you know it's it's a good size foot flush toilet not the hand flush toilet i don't want to get graphic but let's be honest Foot flush toilet is going to be way better than reaching right down here, putting your face over top of the sewer and squeezing that valve there. Okay, hot and cold running water. By the way, the, the, um, the hot water tank in this is gas and electric. So if you're plugged into a campsite, you can run on electricity. If you're not, you can run on propane and it's automatic. You just flick switches here. There's no pilot lights to light. Same thing with the fridge, same thing with the furnace. You don't have pilot lights that you have to light. What's this? Oh, more storage. I almost forgot there's so much storage in here. That's a pantry. Remember, 22 foot trailer with a pantry. Almost unheard of. Thermostats right here, very residential. Again, what they've going for, going for is the residential feel. It's an or a digital thermostat, easy to operate. You set the temperature and forget it for either heat or air conditioning. Again, a lot of, the, a lot of other brands, what they're doing is they put your controls right here and you got to guess, oh, is it going to be cold enough? Is it not? And it's always running. This is more like residential where it calls for heat, heat comes on. When it calls for air conditioning, air conditioning comes on. Okay. Forgot something. Windows at each bunk. Okay. A lot of brands, that's how they're going to save money. That's how they're going to make them cheaper is they're not going to put a window at one of the bunks. They'll put window at one bunk only. This has windows at both bunks. LED lights, LED lights at each bunk, LED lights everywhere in this thing. The fan over the stove, again, if you're cooking bacon, whatever, you can get the fumes out, uh, the smell out. This stove, so we've got a three burner cooktop and an oven, okay? Not just the two burner little cooktop sitting on the counter. This is a three burner cooktop with the nice glass, tempered glass cover, safety glass. And when it folds up, it forms a backsplash here. So if you're cooking bacon, it's not gonna be splashing everywhere. You can easy clean up, okay? Same with the oven, right? You've got an oven here. Cold, rainy days, you know what? Winnipeggers, Manitobans, we're hardy people. Northwestern Ontario people, we're hardy people. We'll go camping if it's cool, rainy, whatever. This way, you've got the oven if you need to cook in here. Most people cook outside, but on those days, when you wanna cook inside, you can. And this folds down really nice extra work surface okay that's always always nice to have big double sink this is not just one tiny little sink how do you wash and dry dishes in one little tiny sink this is nice two big separate sinks the high-rise faucet oh by the way that's metal right the high-rise faucet uh mixes the cold water with the hot water a lot more if you got just a little spigot coming out there you might not get proper mixture you might be either too hot too cold and it allows you to fill larger pots and vessels and things like that. So it's, it's a great little faucet for sure. Uh, microwave we talked about, it's got it. We're, we're pre-wired on these things for solar too. Uh, a lot more people are going off grid. We can actually order them directly from the factory with solar. And we do have some like that or some coming in. 
Uh, this one doesn't have the solar in it, but it is pre-wired, so it makes the solar installation that much easier. There's all prepped on the roof, prepped for a controller, everything. Very easy, very easy to operate. The power awning, well, your controls are all right here, and how easy is this? Like, this is camping. You have your beverage in your hand. <laughs> Everyone else is fighting with awnings and cranking them out. Here we go. Um, the LED lights, as I said, the LED lights light up really nice on the campsite. Um, let me go down. I just, I love these stairs, right? Look how sturdy that is. You don't even see them move. Okay, and the nice big grab handle. Um, there's an external mount for a TV. They give you the bracket in the trailer here. They put it, ship it loose. You can mount that onto the back of another TV and it's quick release. Boom, you clip it on and then you take it off when you're not using it. All your controls are here, all your you know cable outlet, electrical outlet, all that stuff's all right here for that. So a lot of people like watching the bomber game, the Jets game under the awning. Here it is right here. Um, Goodyear tires, I just want to stress this enough. I can't stress this enough. What you have is you have Goodyear tires where most other brands are using just no-name brand, let's be honest. They're just, just meant to get them down the road a year or two or whatever. Uh, these will last a long time. As a matter of fact, they come with a five-year warranty on them. Uh, stronger sidewalls, higher speed rating, made in North America. Uh, you can't beat them. Like, I don't know of any other brand. You go do your homework and research, but I don't know of any other brand in this price point using Goodyear tires or any other name, great name brand tires. Okay, save something, not quite for the last, but something very, very, very special about this unit. Again, at this point, price point, a full outdoor kitchen with hot and cold running water that's plumbed right in. You got to remember, some of these ones, you just got a little vessel you just throw out in the bush or whatever. I don't know. This is plumbed right into the system. Okay, so hot and cold running water. You have a two burner cooktop out here with the side shields for wind. If you don't want to cook inside, which most people want to just do everything outside if they can, but you can inside as well, you have cooking facilities outside. Everything's about outdoors, so you have cooking facilities out here. Uh, this is also plumbed right into the propane system, so you don't need to bring a separate tank for this at all. So it's plumbed right into the propane system. Quick disconnect fitting, by the way. Beverage fridge. Here we go. I mean, your campfire is typically right over here. You got everything you need right here. Again, camping's about being outdoors, so you've got everything to be outdoors as much as possible on this trailer. This is all included in this trailer, by the way, in the prices that we've already talked about. Ladder. Why do we want a ladder? Okay, ladder for maintenance. You want to be able to get up on the trailer. We'll teach you all about this. Don't forget, and anyone buys a trailer from us, we go through it with a technician. You get to go through it with a technician. They'll teach you how to operate everything. They'll talk to you about maintenance, winterizing, all that good stuff. They'll even show you how to hook it up to your vehicle. But that ladder allows you to go up there. Remember, a lot of brands say don't go on our roof, or maybe it's a walk-on roof. This is a walk-on roof tested to 4,500 pounds. Not a problem. Around the other side of the trailer, we've got outside shower. We've got the black tank flush valve. So the outside shower, if you're uh, coming back from the beach and you want to hose yourself off before going in the trailer, you can wash the sand off. It's hot and cold running water on a nice little wand there. Very, very handy feature for sure. Families love that, especially when the kids are getting dirty. You can hose them off before they go in the trailer. The black tank flush valve, when you're draining your septic system, you empty the system, but then you hook a hose up to it and it sprays. There's a sprayer built right into the tank and it cleans that tank out much more cleaner. It'll make it smell way better. And just, it's one of the nasty things about camping, but you know what, this makes it that much better. Uh, the bumper has got the sewer hose inside. Of course, we put that in there and you know what, there's a, I'm sure there's a lot more to mention about this, but there's just not enough time. So call us, text us, 204-233-4478 or sales at gnrcw.com to be put in touch to set up an appointment to come have a look at this or any of our other 50th anniversary specials.